A new poll says a growing number of Americans are against the proposed Islamic Center near Ground Zero, and this ongoing debate may have led to a brutal anti-Muslim attack here in New York City. CBS News correspondent Elaine Cajano has the disturbing details this morning. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Chris. Well, police say the attacker was a college student who had done volunteer work in Afghanistan. He's now behind bars facing multiple counts, including attempted murder and assault as a hate crime after allegedly attacking a cabbie who said he is Muslim. Police say 21-year-old Michael Enright asked a New York City cab driver whether he was Muslim. When he answered that he was, Enright authorities say attacked, first uttering in Arabic a common greeting in the Muslim world, peace be unto you. I'm driving, he asked me where I'm from, I said in Bangladesh. Then second question he asked me, are you Muslim? I say yes. Then he told me, assalamu alaikum. The alleged hate crime took place against the backdrop of a highly emotional debate over whether an Islamic cultural center, including a mosque, should be built two blocks from ground zero. The protests are spreading from New York to Tennessee, where an intense debate over a proposed mosque near Nashville has raged all summer. It's not about religion. It's about stopping Tennessee homegrown terrorists. There are nearly 7 million Muslims and more than 1,200 mosques in the United States. But a CBS News poll found 71 percent of Americans say it's inappropriate to build a mosque so close to ground zero, among them some of the families of 9-11 victims. I understand their religious beliefs. I understand that they should have a place to pray, uh, an educational center. I have no problems with that whatsoever, but not there. Definitely not there. Now, as for Michael Enright, he had volunteered for a group that promotes interfaith dialogue. The group Intersections International has supported the controversial cultural center and mosque near Ground Zero. If Enright is convicted of attempted murder, he faces a maximum 8 to 25 years in prison. Chris. And Mayor Bloomberg, the mayor of New York City, a staunch supporter of this mosque, has invited the cabbie to City Hall today, too. That's exactly so this right. Story There's a news conference scheduled. To, to play out. Elaine, thank you very much.